So how do we create a document type for a purchase order in both ZAP ECC and also ZAP S4HANA on premise? First of all, we need to create a number range. Then we need to define a screen layout. And last but not least, we need to create a document type and assign both the number range and the screen layout. Before we jump into it, make sure to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell. Let's go. So first we create a number range. This is done by a transaction code OMH6, that's OMH6. Over here we click on intervals on the change button and now we can create a new number range for our document type. Let's insert a new line via this button over here, provide a so-called number range number, which is two characters and can be alphanumeric. Let me say 08 for instance. We provide a number range, so we fill the from and two columns, let's say from 30 million up until nearly 40 million. And then we need to specify whether this number range should be external or internal. Internal would mean that once we save our purchase order later on, a number will be assigned automatically by the system. And if we set external over here, then we need to assign a number ourselves. So for now we say internal, this is fine, so we can save. You will get a small note that the number range intervals are not included in the automatic recording of customizing changes. So meaning that normally this, if we configure something in the development system, we need to do the same settings manually also in the quality and in the productive system. You can see the changes were saved successfully. Let's actually write down the number range number in our little text folder here. So we use the transaction code OMH6 and we created the number range number 08, where the number range 30 million till 40 million is assigned. Next, we need to define the screen layout for our purchase order. This is done by a transaction code S underscore ALR underscore 87002184. So let's actually take this one and copy it over here, slash N and hit enter. Now we can define a new screen layout for our purchase order. What does this mean? Let me just go quickly to the purchase order transaction, ME21N. All of the fields you see, like material, net price, and so on, via the screen layout, we can configure what kind of fields here are mandatory, which ones are optional, and which ones should only be in display mode. Let's go back. Over here, it makes most sense to take one of the standard field selection keys, for instance, let's take NBF as an example, select this one, and click on copy as. Yes. Then provide a new name in the Z namespace. So let's say Z P O two, something like that. Purchase order custom. Click on enter and save your new entry first. And afterwards double click on it. And here you can see the different field selection groups. Let's give you an example. Let's double click on basic data. And over here you can see now all the fields that we can mark as required entry, optional entry or display only. And you will find all of those fields also in the ME21N transaction when creating a purchase order. So for instance, I could set the plant to mandatory like that and so on. I think this is pretty obvious. Then I can just click on the next group to find even more fields and so on. Once I'm finished, I click on back, back again. I save my field selection and that's it. So now we have created the number range and also we defined the screen layout. And here importantly, we normally copy an existing screen layout and then provide our Z ID. And afterwards we can select all the fields as required display or optional. Now it's time to create a document type. This is done either via the transaction code I displayed over here. Or now let me also show you the customizing path, how you can find all of those three configuration screens via slash NSPRO, sub reference IMG, go to materials management, purchasing, purchase order. And here you can already see the fine number ranges. This one we already did. Define screen layout at document level. This one we also did. And now the last one would be define document types. Let's click on this one. Here again, it makes sense to copy one of the standard document types that are already existing. I recommend you to take NB, which is the standard purchase order document type, then click on copy as. Now we provide a new name and here it always makes sense to keep the name over here, which is up to four characters in alphanumeric. 
the same as the screen layout name. So in our case, it would be ZPO2. This is the screen layout name we just defined. We use it also for the document type. We have a description. Let's talk about the most important ones. So here you can see the column called item number interval. Right now it's set to 10. So this corresponds to what number is assigned to the line items in the purchase order. Let's go to the purchase order real quick. Let me 21N. And over here you can see item column and this is exactly it. So if we fill here a material, for instance, you can see that the number 10 was assigned. The next material would get the number 20 and so on. We could also say number one should be assigned, number two and so on and so forth. So for now, 10 is fine. Then we have our number range assignment for the internal number range. In this case, we do not have any external number range. So let me delete this one. And over here, we now select the one we just created before, which is number range 08. And last but not least, we assign our field selection key. So the one we just created, and as I told you, it has the same name as the document type. So again, ZPO2. And that's basically it. With that, we created our document type and assigned the number range that we just created before and also the field selection key that we also created. Let's hit enter. Then we, we click on copy all and that's it. Now we can save and now let's go to slash OME21N to inspect the result. Over here from the drop down menu, we will now find ZPO2, the one we just created. Let's actually click on this one. Now we could create a purchase order as always, but this I've already shown you in another video. And later on when we save it, the number 30 million would be assigned because this is the first document we post in the number range. Yeah, this marks the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, then please subscribe to the channel to not miss any more videos. Activate the bell and see you next.